like a hundred times. Don't you understand? No means no. But mom, it'll only be a while. I'll be back soon, I promise. Listen Richard, I really do not have time for this right now. I have to clean this room and then make breakfast for your father. I'm really busy right now and I would really appreciate it if you go up to your room and just leave me alone. I will stop bugging you if you just let me go you. And then you can do your work in peace. And my friends are already waiting for me. Now listen to me. Don't you need to submit your tuition assignment today? Yeah, I guess I do, but mom, have you completed it? Um no, but mom, your tuition is at 10 a.m. today and it's almost 7:30 and you are saying that you need to go out with your friends when you have an unfinished homework in your hand. Oh, mom, you don't have to worry about that. It will take like an hour. You remember right, you were the only one in your class last week who didn't get their assignment accepted and the way your teacher complained to me, you don't even sharpen your pencils anymore and your work looks messy as you are in so much hurry to go out with your friends. Do you want to relive that yourself or do you want me to cuz certain I do not want any part of that. So go finish your work and then only I'll let you go But out. But by the time I finish it all my friends will have left. I missed the part where that's my problem. Mom, please, I'll do it once I get back or I won't be able to concentrate. Please, uh, I promise. You won't listen to me, will you? Please. You are as stubborn as your father. Okay, fine. Yes, thank you. But wait, hold on there. I won't hear any further excuses. You are to return within half an hour and complete it as soon as possible. Is that clear? Okay. And don't forget to use the sharpest pencil. I won't. Where did I? Ah, there it is.
Thank you.